Today we're gonna be working on another partner research, but first we've got ourselves a shiny cricket tot right here. Always happy to start the day off with a shiny. Honestly, did not expect to run into this one. I know they've been out here, but like I haven't seen too many of them really. And who knows, maybe we'll start off the day with a really good shiny. At least we can only hope, right? 61 CP gives us a, well, that's actually not bad at all. 12, 12, 13, that's up there. But now that we've caught that shiny, let's move on to the partner research called Partner Research World of Wonders Ito N. Ito N is a Japanese drink company. Specifically, they make a lot of teas and they specialize with green tea. And the way to get this code is you have to either have somebody in Japan that can get the code for you, or there are other ways to get it. Just type in Ito N Partner Research and you'll find a few ways. Specifically, this one was given to me by a friend. And what we have to do is make 20 curveball throws, catch 30 Pokemon, and then send five gifts and add a sticker to each of them. So we can honestly just go through my stack real quick and we can claim every single one of these rewards right now. And literally like two minutes later, we got it all done. So let's see what we get from this. We get ourselves something on a white screen and the game crashed. That's great. Let's try this again. What are you, my friend? A graveyard. Neat. So weird that it decided to crash, but hey, I'm down with a graveyard. I really want a hundo of this thing, and it looks like we're going to get two more chances after this one. Let's see what a 415 is. It is a 121212. All right. Not the best, not the worst. Let's see what number two gives us. This one is going to be a 532. That is way better. Hopefully, it's like really good. I feel like 532 is pretty up there, right? At least we're going to be able to see it now. Hopefully, it's a hundo. I really want it for the decks. So, oh, so close. 15, 14, 14. All righty, last one. We get our hands on a 423. All right, so no hundo out of these, but hey, a 96 isn't bad all in all. Let's see what this one is. It is a 13, 12, 15. And for the final rewards, we get a whole incense, which is great. We also get a lucky egg, and we're going to get our hands on two golden razzes. And for page two, we have to use 20 berries to help catch a Pokemon, catch 12 different species of Pokemon, and then explore five whole kilometers. Well, while we walk these five kilometers, might as well do some more Burmy researchers, seeing that we had some really good luck with them. But maybe we'll get even better luck and maybe some good IVs with that luck. But this had neither. How about this one right here? Come on. Ah, uh, not it. And a 198. And then this one is also a trashy one. 202. Three more Burmies. Let's see what we get from these ones. The middle one is a Sandy Cloak 191. How about this bottom one here? Another Sandy Cloak 196. And the last one is another trash. A 205 though. That's up there. Would you believe that I have done five routes without a single Zygarde cell? It's pretty ridiculous. On the upside, the weather is beautiful. And we've also finished page two which is fantastic. Those five kilometers really do fly by when you're doing routes, but let's see what we get with these. We get cutie fly. Oh, I like me a good cutie fly. Let's see how good this first one was. <laughs> not very good at all. 12, 10, 13. Number two here is not shiny and a 371. Cool that we're getting a few better ones. Last time I did one of these partner researches, it was like every single Pokemon had almost the exact same IVs. So let's see how good this one is. Maybe it's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad actually. 14, 13, 13. And the last one isn't pink and a 361. Okay, so this one's worse. And just for fun, there's one in the wild, not shiny. And for the final rewards, we get a Poffin. We're gonna get our hands on three revives and we're gonna get 10 max potions. And page three is power up a Pokemon five times, defeat five Team Go Rocket grunts and earn two candies while exploring with your buddy. I think it's about time we switch to Rama and the Magikarp. Well, this was a really fun surprise, a shiny cutie fly. And this is the second one I have ever personally caught. But let's throw a golden raspberry on this one. And now I can technically say I've completed the entire line on my own, not having to rely on trades or anything like that. We got the first one on my own, but the second one I did trade with Ivan for. He wanted one of the Bali Pikachus, and of course I was going to give it to him. But now we've officially caught this one, and is it a good one? Not really, but it doesn't matter. Got three 12k eggs here. I haven't been buying radars anymore since I completed those shiny shadow sets. So basically just been doing a lot of grunts in hopes of getting myself some rocket radars, potential shiny shadows, and of course a potential shiny sand dial. But that was a Larvitar. Not a fan of that. Maybe number two is better. Well, it's a sand dial. Good to see. I don't know if I'm going to get that shiny anytime soon, but it sure would be cool. No, that's a Ponyard. And just by looking this over real quick you can tell that this is not a hundo sand dial the ponyard is extra extra small which is pretty cool and the well larvitar is pretty close to being perfect so i decided to put on the super rocket radar real quick because i realized you can get decoys not just giovanni from it and those are grunts and they count for the quest and not only that we have chances at shiny shadow bell sprout so unfortunately we didn't get it here but that is something to bring up though on the bell sprout community day coming up i believe this saturday or sunday it's april 20th you should put on your super rocket radar because you may have increased chances of getting shiny shadow bell sprout and you might even get one that can be purified into a shundo, which would be really cool. The only reason why I think that these rates might actually be boosted during that time is that we also had an execute research day, and shiny shadow execute was extremely common from both the grunts and from Arlo at the time. So it feels like that's something you should take advantage of if you have the super rocket radar, of course. And I'm thinking the Pokemon we're gonna power up five times is this Hundo Tapu Koko all the way from Taiwan. I think that's more than five, doesn't matter. I kind of lost count while I was talking to you guys, but there we go, we've completed that. And now we can claim these three encounters. Let's see what we get. The first one, oh, 
Oh, a Hisuian Quillfish. That's cool. And I think these are boosted as well. At least hopefully they're still boosted. I would really like to get a hundo of this. I've been trading for a ton of them. I never got lucky with them, even from hatching and from research. So maybe we'll get it, but I know that this one isn't exactly the best. Unless I'm mistaken, but I don't think an 884 is really good. But yeah, 11, 12, 13. Well, we still get two more chances. So let's see what happens. This one isn't silver and 8869. That's pretty bad. And last but not least, we have not a shiny one and a 910. Okay, this one's up there. Glad to see that we did get at least one pretty decent one, seeing that the first one was an 11, 12, 13, and the other one was way worse. A 910 has potential, but I think that it's just off. I want to say it was like 912 or 914, but maybe I'm wrong. Please be wrong. Oh, so close. 15, 15, 13. Now let's claim these final rewards. We're going to get an egg incubator. We're going to get our hands on 20 great balls and 20 ultras, which is great. I kind of need those. And now the final page is officially completed. Let's just claim all of these nice little stickers and claim our final rewards of 10,000 stardust, which is nice. 10,000 XP as well. And now we have our final encounter with a Drampa that sadly isn't shiny and a 1205, which I do believe is pretty bad. I want to say it's like 1280 is the hundo. So this one's not great at all, but who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is amazing. It's terrible. And now that we're done with that partner research, it's time to do spotlight hour. And we have three Pokemon today. We've got Caterpie, Wurmple, and Weedle. And the best part about this is that the bonus is two times catch Stardust, which is very nice. So we're starting off with 1,170,746. And we'll see what number we can get to. And of course, if we get some shinies, you're going to see them. I'm really hopeful it's good. Also, we got our first shiny. Hell yeah. There we go. Shiny Weedle on the stream. It's kind of funny that we got a Weedle. I expected it to be a Caterpie, personally. Oh my, you broke out. Well, you know what? Fine. Ultra Ball. Whew, well that's fun. I'm down with that. Everybody likes a good shiny Weedle, right? Now let's see how good this Weedle is. Not good at all, but that's fine. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got our buzzer beater. I'll take that. I'll take that. That's funny. I feel good in the ball, though, my friend. Oh, uh, really? The wasted two Ultras. There we go. <laughs> that's so funny. So this one right here is going to be... Eh. We got a 7.15.6. It's now the next day and the avatar update has gone live. Here's what my character used to look like and here's what he looks like now. And you might notice there's a small problem with his hand. For some reason, it looks like the polygons on the glove are stretching upwards with the ball. So they're gonna have to fix that eventually, but that's fun. And if we dive into the style shop here and we change our appearance, I, the close up on the face really isn't that bad. I've seen some pictures in the past of like what they did and it didn't look great, but it looks like they updated it to be a little bit better. And we have a lot more customization apparently now. As you can see, we have the short, medium, and long hair styles. So you can just choose as many as you want. Like I could go with this hairstyle if I really wanted to, or I could go with the, I think this is the standard female model's uh, hairstyle, but I could be wrong. But I'm gonna go back to default with that one. Let's check out the face. We have multiple different kinds of faces. Oh my, no, no, I think, I think two is probably what I'm gonna stick with, but there's a few different options, which is kind of fun, but I'm, I'm thinking we're gonna stick with two. And I think this is where you get to choose your skin color as well, so you could be whatever you want. I'm not that pale. Oh, wow, there's actually more color selections. So, I mean, you know, you could go with whatever you want it with here. You could be really dark, you could be extremely light if you want to. Up to you, really. And then we have eyes, which I think just changed the color, okay? It doesn't look like they changed the shape of your eyes. And then we have body types. So this is the default male body type, I guess. And let's just play with it for a second, but I think that the top row are different sizes for female avatars, if you wanted to do that. Or you could go even heavier, and then I think these are more flat-chested versions that go a little thicker. This one's more of an athletic build, I want to say. And then there's this one right here, which, yeah. Honestly, let's see here. Which one looks more like me? I'm definitely not pencil thin. I'd say this is kind of close. I got a little bit of thickness on me. There's also this one too, though. Hmm. I'm gonna stick with this one for now. If you wanted to, you could have a customizable slider too. So if you wanna be super heavy, you could be super heavy. You wanna be super thin. I think we'll keep it, eh, we're gonna put it on three. Muscles, as much as I'd love to lie and say I'm super muscular, I'd throw it down around here maybe, maybe here. Shoulders, I definitely have wide shoulders. There's also a chest bar, that's kind of fun. I guess we'll just leave it on a one. And then hips, I don't really have massive thighs. I think I'm a little bit more like right around here. Cool, I mean, fun little update in the end of the day. 
today. It's not as bad as what I've been seeing, so again, it looks like they updated it. But now that we've played with this, let's do Tapu Bulu Raid Hour. But before we do that, I'm gonna do one change here because quite frankly, this hair looks about close to mine in terms of the color, but this is more accurate. And when it comes down to hair, I mean, I guess this is probably closest to what I have, but I wish there was like a shorter option that didn't have like one of these. Obviously, I don't have these hairstyles. I think I'm gonna just stick with the default. I like the default the most, but the gray is more accurate to me nowadays. Well, it's almost time for Tapu Bulu Raid Hour, but as you can see around me here, a lot of these gyms actually have raids on them. I really wish they would turn off raids like within 30 minutes of the raid hour. It just feels kind of weird how we have things spawning in like in the middle. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We'll probably be able to get at least five or six of these things done, hopefully. Just depends on how fast everybody moves. All right, Tapu Bulu number one is down. They are not weather boosted, so this is a 1930. We want 1953. Frank Loney and Jesus here as always. Going? How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? I mean, you know, I can't complain. Minus getting no XL rare candy. Unless you saw one pop up while I wasn't looking. Do you have a shiny, or do you have a hundo top of Bulu? Yeah, it's already maxed. I'm just doing this just to hang out with you. Aw, oh, thanks, the man. Yeah. Well, hey, you know what? Boom. Well, friendship didn't bring a shiny for me and no, for you. No. Oh, you have 18, ooh, yeah, yeah, 1897. Yeah. Oh, boy. It sucks. All right, 1924. We're in the car now because there's like hardly anything around us. Also, Tommy's here. Hi, Tommy. How you Hello. doing, man? <laughs> he just noticed while you're waving. I was like, I probably shouldn't introduce him. But did we get a shiny? No, we did not. Did you get a good one? I don't know. Oh, I don't, honestly, I have a hundo and I don't even know what a good one is. <laughs> and so you want a 1954, but I also have a hundo. We really are just doing this until we get the XLs and then we're done. 1941, great year, but not a shiny, unfortunately. 1925 is not shiny. Tommy, you get a shiny? No. Yeah, Frankie gave up. 1906, not great, but not shiny either. And now we're done with the raids and I have just enough XL candies in order to power up this hundo Tapabulu. I've also used an elite charge TM to give it nature's madness because apparently that's pretty good for it. So let's do it. We're gonna power him up all the way. He's gonna be a 3865. Let's do this. It's gonna cost us a lot of dust and quite frankly, I've already spent some dust. So I don't even remember what I was at, but I think I was at a million two hundred and fifty thousand after the whole spotlight and everything. But now we're done with it. He's a 3865, pretty cool. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you enjoyed today's video and let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this avatar update i personally think it needs a little bit of work i know i said it wasn't that bad but the more i look at it i really feel like it could be done a little bit better but please let me know what you think of those comments down below and if you're really enjoying the content and you want to see more of it i highly suggest this video down here but with that being said i'll see you in the next one